Hey guys, my name is Moshpitti, and today I've got three replays of the WZ111, and let's see what I can get done with it. First things first, we are on Karelia. We got the southern spawn, but it doesn't really matter which spawn we get, we would go to the east side of the map. I really want to get behind this mountain that's ahead of us, and hopefully try to push through it, and actually get into a position where I can scout, believe it or not, the enemy team, because the WZ111... It's a really tricky tank to play. A lot of things, a lot of people think it's a, uh, it's just a trash, tragic tank, and I suppose it is <laughs> if you compare it to any other heavy in Era One. But it does actually have decent side scraping armor, surprisingly enough. It can bounce shots off its upper plate and turret. I'm kind of hesitant to say that. <laughs> you'll, you'll see what I mean. Like it does work until it doesn't, and it doesn't have really good DPM. But I don't know. I, I find it to be really entertaining myself. I, I, it, it's one of my favorite tanks in Era 1. Maybe because of the challenge. But I find because it's got such a limited DPM and such a limited mobility, it is best to just get into a key location and hold that key location using your limited but still effective armor and using your limited but still existing DPM. And basically, either I hold it down and to try to prevent the enemies from moving forward or, preferably and hopefully, I can hold down a key location and let my teammates deal out the damage while I basically just spot for them by being in the right place. <laughs> now, we got the first shot in. But that's because I got, got, got it fully aimed while fully stationary. Look how inaccurate this gun is. Wow. It was fully aimed, but the dispersion is so bad that it's still missed over the turret. And the shell velocity is so slow that it's like throwing a softball. So <laughs> even if I led to the middle of that tank, it's still whiffed. Because it, like the tank was moving backwards like 20 kilometers an hour. That That's just what we're dealing with here. But I don't know, I enjoy it. Now, we get rushed by the Tyrann here. My platoon mate is also playing in this WZ. I think he's just going through the dailies. He's not much of a connoisseur of the tank as I am. But we get a lucky shot here into the engine and track the tank. The Tyrann is just out. That was one of their best tanks out of the game already. So that's pretty nice. T44 rushes us next, probably just uh, doesn't want to keep living anymore. <laughs> I can only imagine as that tank is not very well equipped to take on anything, let alone the WZ, as it's going to struggle to go through even my side, even my flat side, which is just incredibly sad. But we let him, let him out of his misery. Get over here. There we go, back to the garage with you. And you can already tell we're sitting on 1300 spotting assisted. 1300 spotting with a heavy on Karelia. 3000 raw damage, 3 kills as well. Largely thanks to the lucky fire that we got in the Tehran, but I'm gonna take it. Now, this guy gave me a heart attack because I thought it's the uh, shit barn, but it was just a gone away, thankfully. And we got more spotting assisted. 2800 already. This is just, this is exactly what I mean. All I needed to do was be this meatball of a tank. In the right location, the enemy is so desperate to kill this absolutely pitiful heavy, will throw themselves out of cover to get more shots on me. <laughs> so it just it just works. You kinda have to use what you've got, and if you've got a a meatball, well use it as a bait. That about wraps it up for the first replay though. There's no way, <laughs> no way I'm catching any of these tanks. The light tanks in our spawn, and I believe the, the remaining medium is somewhere near there as well. So I'm just gonna skip to the end, and we can move on to replay number two. Alright, so replay number two. This time we are on Swamp. Same plan as the previous game, basically try to get into a key location. I'm going to show you exactly the play that I like to make every time I get Swamp, especially the southern spawn as we did here. And again, we're just trying to get spotting while or tracking if we're very lucky and get some raw damage. Now, the reason I don't really rely on tracking damage with this thing is because I've got almost an 8 second reload and a massive dispersion. Which means even if I aim for the drive wheel, there's every chance that I'm going to hit something like the, the engine instead or the, the turret. Like, the dispersion is so bad and the DPM is so bad that I can't permanently track anything if I'm lucky enough to track them in the first place. So that's why we really rely more on spotting damage. Now, I'm actually playing with my 
branding a light tank here this time. It doesn't matter. Still gonna go for spotting damage. Still gonna make the same play because it's the WZ111. It only has one trick. Be a meatball. <laughs> so we're gonna make the same play every single time we play this tank. This rock. This rock is our friend. This is the place I play every single time. The location specifically is E8 on the map. I just get in here and I, I work around this rock. You know, I, I go either towards the enemies or use the rock to put put it between me and the enemies, depending on the, dis the needs at the moment. And I'm already rocking five, uh, 500 spotting assist. Only 300 damage because I'm <laughs> obviously not able to really put out damage. 800 spotting assist, still 300 damage. See what I mean? Like the WZ can work as a meatball. It can definitely work as the eyes of your team, but it's just so incredibly limited with this gun. I may look at e like I may make it look easy rather to hit these shots to get off every reload every time I have it. But it really took a lot of effort to to get to that point with this tank. <laughs> it really handles quite poorly. The turret is slow. The tank is even slower. So if it looks easy, trust me, it's not. <laughs> but at the same time, if you follow the plays that I'm making, I I guarantee you're more often than not going to get some assisted damage some support from your teammates and whatnot. So even if you're kind of struggling to make the gun and the platform itself work very well, just try to make your team work for you instead. Now, there's an enemy WZ, and I'm already being flanked by another heavy on the on the right side here. There's nothing we can really do about it. I believe it's a T-34. Now, I can penetrate its uh, hull. Oh, there's a WZ-11 as well, right? WZ-111, rather. I can't penetrate these tanks, but it's so dubious at best that I'm, I'm just better off trying to finish off whatever targets in front of my face, like the first WZ-111 that pushed us, and just again hope that the team cleans up. Now my friend took a 30 centimeter fall, that is one foot fall. He took a one foot fall and died <laughs> because of the double gravity and just the, the physics of Cold War. So now I'm stuck on my own, obviously on one hand, hey, more spotting for me, but on the other hand, oh god, my only offensive teammate is already dead now we see smoke on the left side there's obviously something there and it's a shit barn of course it is well that's terrifying i try to take a shot at it miss as, as i usually do with this tank <laughs> and then i load high explosives right off the bat i already carry five and it's all meant for uh, shit barns like this we hit it for 548 damage so enough to spook it off and we're getting targeted it's gotta be the tanks from the right i don't know if it's just the only, like, if I'm the only tank that they see, or if they were just hell-bent on destroying the meatball. But again, I'm just gonna use that to my advantage. We see a T-44 in the distance. Again, this tank is probably the only thing that is no, no real threat to me. So we finish it off. We saw that the shit burns on the other side of this uh, mountain. Oh, uh, mountain. This rock. My rock. And we don't want that. It's my rock, not your rock. So I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I really want to push it. But at the same time, I'm on 500 health. The heavies have been very persistently shooting at me whenever I poke and like put my head out there. And we're not really sure which way the FB is looking. But he fired. We've got 20 seconds. Gotta make it count. I've, I load in high explosives. He's thankfully low health anyway. We get in the high explosive. And we get pushed by the heavies. Well, in this case, it's the T95E3. But the heavies are on my right side. I'm very well aware that they've they've tried to kill me so many times already that they're probably gonna try to finish the job now. <laughs> but we're the meatball. We've got a job to do, and that is be delicious. So we push into the open, make sure we get spotted. Don't duck into cover so that this guy pushes back out and starts getting cleaned up. But of course, just as I said, these guys come in for the kill. We find a dead tank to take some cover from, which is very, very lucky here. The WZ probably regretting every life decision he ever made, starting from the point that he picked this tank, and we cap out! I was so focused on this situation that I had no idea we were capping out. But we finish MVP, my friend is light tank MVP too, despite the tumble he took. 2800 damage, 3000 assisted, and let's go to replay number 3. Alright, so replay number 3. We are on Desfall. It's a standard battle and we got the northeast spawn, which means we go left. Basically, my plan is to get to the riverbed and then follow it until I get to about J8. 
If you've seen me play on Death Fool before, you know exactly the play I'm gonna make here. The idea is that there will always be on Death Fool snipers on G0, this little city. And I'm hoping to hunker down where they can only see my turret, which is basically the most armored part, if not terribly armored even then, uh, of my tank, and then try to spot for my team, try to get some damage. I'm expecting to get more assistance than I am to get raw in this case, but as always, you just have to kind of wing it and see what happens. <laughs> now, the impulsive thoughts one on my friend here. He's a light tank on the right side there, and he's gonna go chasing after it with this leopard. Prototype 773. We're just gonna let him do that while we do our play. Now, normally, it's always, if you're gonna play in a platoon, it's always a good idea to just link up and play together to your strengths. But we're at a level where we can pretty proficiently just play on our own our own play, we just communicate and link up to help each other when we can. And sometimes one of us just does something really dumb and the other has to carry the game. <laughs> As might be the case here, you're just gonna have to stick around and see how it goes. Now, I'm not getting a, a whole lot of spotting assistance as long as this light tank is here, but I'm not gonna scoff at having some assistance here, right? He engaged first, he had the right idea, he's doing the right play. Nothing to complain about there. My friend gets cancelled, which is just what happens when uh, the impulsive thoughts win. Our intrusive thoughts <laughs> win. Uh, we try to get a shot on the cupola of the WZ111 here, but with my accuracy, that is just a joke. Like, that is so optimistic, and you're gonna see that. <laughs> I know just how bad this gun is. I know better than most people, and I'm still so very optimistic when it comes to shooting with it. And I think there's nothing wrong with that, you know? I've got shells to spare, and I don't even run the heat, so I'm not gonna lose money no matter what I do. So I'm just gonna keep slinging shots even if, I, if there's like a 1% chance of penetrating it. I'm taking shots, but this is exactly what I was talking about. I got myself hauled down to anyone who can actually see me. If the tanks on my left push me, I'm just going to fall even further back. And I'm going to do the same play again. But they did break my cannon, so I had to, uh, had to repair that. The assistance is slowly trickling in, but surprisingly, I'm sitting on 1,800 raw. And only 800 assisted now. So it's not quite going as I was hoping. But then I look at the map. Wow. We're winning all over the place. <laughs> the enemies just aren't taking positions, I guess. They seem to be preoccupied with this flank, maybe preoccupied with trying to take out this meatball. So the plan is some, to some degree working, but unfortunately they're finally going through my turret. Like I said, most armored part doesn't mean it's all that armored. My left side flank finally gets cleaned up though, which means we can be a bit more aggressive finally. I keep taking shots at this M103. There's basically no way in hell I'm penetrating it. But like I said, there's nothing wrong with being optimistic. If I've got no other shots, I might as well go for that one. If I had my wits about me, I would have probably tried to track it. But I didn't, so hey-ho. Hindsight is 2020. Go for a shot on the T95E3 and whiff completely because just that welcome to the life of a WZ111. But it's all come together. I'm starting to see where the enemies are. Our team has wrapped around the whole map. All the enemies are basically in this, this little corner of the map, or this edge of the map. We get to just be aggressive. Worst thing that could happen, I get wiped out, maybe get up to 3 of those damage. We're still gonna win. This, this is like an unlosable situation if you look at the map and look at the health of the enemies. So we finally get a little bit more aggressive, finally get actually a shot in on the M1103 rather. And uh, wow. I'm actually doing damage, but that's not how I planned it, but I'll absolutely take it. <laughs> We're sitting on 2700 damage, 1200 assisted, and it doesn't look like I'm going to get any more assisted anytime soon, so I'm just going to keep pounding in, being aggressive. I love this tank. I, I love the challenge that this tank proposes for you. It's like, how do I make this work? And even more so, how do I make this consistently work? And because of the reliance on teamwork, it sort of reminds me of the fact that it does take 15 players to basically play this game for our team. It's it's 15 on 15. It's not just me doing heroics with my platoon weight. This is a tank that cannot do anything on its own weight. So it just like forces me to acknowledge that I do need all this support and all this, this teamwork and all these moving parts to, to make a game come together. <laughs> now here I had a sudden rush of shit to the brain and I, for some reason, decided to focus. The WZ111, the least threatening tank in their team. On my left instead of the three tanks on my right. 
Luckily, they're mostly bottom tier tanks, so they just don't have that much damage and couldn't really do anything serious to me. The, the WZ is trying to turn around, and my dispersion prevents me from shooting at the dry wheels. Like I said, tracking just isn't a thing with the WZ. You just don't track things with this. You get some damage on him, but I want to finish off with a kill, so I'm going to go for the pattern instead. Finishing off the third pretty play, 4,000 raw damage. And 1,400 assisted. Completely the opposite of what I was assuming and expecting. But it was a ton of fun. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you guys, if you have this tank, try to take it out for a spin. And I hope to see you guys next time.